Shut up and sit down. Republic Day speech. Speech on Republic Day for students and children in English. Good morning to everybody present on the auspicious occasion of Republic Day. As we all know, we have assembled here to commend the 71st Republic Day of our nation. Republic Day praised each year on 26th January has gained special significance throughout India's entire existence. Consistently, the national occasion is commended with lots of joy and bliss to make the occasion beautiful and memorable. It was on 26 January 1950 the Constitution of India came into impact and the D-Day is celebrated as National Day to recognize and celebrate the occasion. We are all aware that India got its independence on August 15, 1947. Yet, the country didn't have its very own constitution. Rather, it was represented under the laws executed by the British. Nonetheless, after numerous consultation and revisions, an advisory group headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar presented a draft of the Indian constitution which was adjusted on 26 November 1949 and authoritatively became effective on 26 January 1950. Republic signifies the power which is supreme. A resident living in the Republic country appreciates the right to choose their delegates, political pioneer to lead the nation. In this way, in the Republic of India, each resident appreciates equivalent rights, independent of the status and sex he or she belongs to. The principal Republic Day festivities are held in the national capital, New Delhi at the Rajpath in the presence of the President of India with the gathering of a large number of people may be from India as well as from the other nations to enjoy the festivity and enthusiasm of that day. On this day, ceremonious processions happen at the Rajpath, which are preceded as a tribute to India. The festival begins from the doors of the Rashtrapati Bhavan, the President's habitation. Resana Hill on Rajpath passed the India Gate is the fundamental attraction of Republic Day celebrations. This is followed by the presence of different dignitaries at Rajput to commend the event. The President, Prime Minister and other high position authorities of India are normally included in the list of dignitaries. As a part of the festivity, India has been facilitating the head of state or government of another nation as the state guest of respect for Republic Day festivities in New Delhi. This has been followed since 1950. The president hoists the national flag and addresses the country with Republic Day speech by encouraging words to everybody in the nation present there and others as well. On the event, respectable honours were offered away to martyrs and legends who devoted lives to the nation. Republic Day March is an unmistakable and eye-catching component of the festival as it grandstands India's defence capability, cultural and social heritage. The colourful showcases shown by each state portray their way of life. Every school, college and office celebrates and takes an interest in Republic Day and shows their energetic enthusiasm. Resident in the nation wishes one another, brings a festive vibe and additionally scatters the significance of the day. This day is all about enthusiasm, respect, understanding, the sacrifices and hugely celebrating our freedom. I am obliged to speak before such a patient crowd. Thank you.